My name is Masi Arias, and this is everything I eat in a day. Buckle up. If you know me, you know that I am a single mom and I have a lot of businesses that I manage myself and I take care of. I wake up at 5.30 to 6 in the morning and I co-sleep with my daughter. So the first thing that I do when I wake up is not grab my phone, is not drink coffee. The first thing I do, I kiss her, I open up my Bible app and I meditate and it has done wonders for me. I used to be the person to wake up and grab onto the phone, grab some coffee and hit the ground running and that was not working for me. That was bringing me a lot of anxiety. So I've stopped that. I like to just start my day with something positive so that that energy can resonate to whoever I'm touching that day. So after I have two large glasses of lukewarm water, I squeeze half a lemon in there and I have apple cider vinegar pills. It's been part of my ritual forever. It helps me control my sugar craving. It helps me pretty much flush out my system. Then I get on answering emails, preparing posts, and for that hour and a half, I'm literally starting the day before everyone wakes up here in LA. Then Indy wakes up. We are usually going to have the same breakfast. First and foremost, I can have breakfast for breakfast, breakfast for dinner, breakfast for snacks. I'm a breakfast person. So it's going to be either oatmeal, oat pancakes, or it's going to be my favorite. And check this out. I have gluten-free toast with eggs. You're never going to find me just using a lot of butter. I don't use butter. I sprayed olive oil, extra virgin olive oil in the pan, and I scramble the eggs. If I am doing avocado, usually it's going to be egg whites with veggies, my gluten-free bread because I have a gluten intolerance. It's horrible. I have this yummy, creamy avocado. I just just spread it on top with some salt and pepper. Please do salt and pepper and a little bit of vinegar. I know, a little bit of vinegar on top and a side of berries. That is what we usually have. Indy, on the other hand, I may make her some English muffins with a whole egg scrambled. Um, she likes turkey bacon. We may put some turkey bacon and avocado and I make it into a sandwich. So that's usually what we have for breakfast. If it's oatmeal, it's going to be oatmeal with chia seeds, almond butter, almond milk. It is going to be creamy. Mm. And I might have two boiled eggs on the side oat pancakes, it's going to be everything that I would have in my oatmeal, I just turn that into a massive pancake. So that's that. So I don't have breakfast. Indy has breakfast first. I prepare my breakfast and I take it on the go if I'm busy that day or I keep it in the fridge already prepared. I am a huge intermittent fasting enthusiast is what works for me, my body loves it. Most of the time it's going to be 12 to 14 hours. I then have BCAs, branched chain amino acids. It is my go-to. I love to train fasted. Everyone knows this about me, or maybe you don't know. Um, I go and do my workouts. Usually I shoot all of my workouts and I share them on social media. I shoot that, film it, Either I come back home and I would be breaking fast with a smoothie, okay, first. And I have a sweet tooth. It's either the smoothie or my breakfast, either or. And usually the smoothie is highly antioxidant. So it's going to be mm, so yummy. So if I'm making a chocolate smoothie, it's going to be two tablespoons of cocoa nibs, two scoops of my chocolate protein, it's all plant-based, unsweetened almond milk, one tablespoon of chia seeds, one tablespoon of almond butter, two handfuls of spinach in there, a little dab of lemon, one banana, and it is delicious. And right after that, I have enough energy to sustain me for hours. So. I may snack on popcorn. <laughs> I love popcorn. Either it's going to be um, a handful of almonds and another piece of fruit, or it's going to be a bubbles bar, or it's going to be a snack house. Probably I have the whole bag. Oh my God, this little, little puffs 
that tastes so freaking good. So that's what I do. And I keep myself super hydrated throughout the day. That's when, boom, 3, 4 p.m., I need my coffee and I'll take it black, okay? And yes, I'm someone who can have coffee at four and then fall asleep at any time. Usually in the afternoons for my snack, you may be seeing me with a green juice. Everybody knows this about me. I juice a lot. I call it the Hulk juice and it has celery, cucumber, turmeric, black pepper, ginger, lemon, and parsley. Now for dinner, we're talking about mm, gluten-free pasta, with grilled chicken in tomato sauce, or it could be ground turkey, sometimes ground beef, and I make a bolognese sauce. I have days where I'm more plant-based. I have days where I have more animal protein. It's all about how I feel during that day, but know that it's going to be mostly whole foods. If I'm going plant-based that day, it's going to be lentil-based, which has a lot of plant protein packed in it. And I may make a cashew sauce, anything goes, but it's all whole foods. I would say when it comes to food, I love New York and I love LA, both for very different reasons. Whenever I am in New York, believe me, Levain Bakery is going to be my go-to cookie. I love my cheesecakes from New York. Juniors, definitely go there. Thai Sun is in Chinatown, is a Vietnamese place that I really, really love. Carmine's is one of my favorite Italian places and it has some bomb.com meatballs and all things Italian. You need to go to Carmine's, it is delicious. And when it comes to LA, favorite spots to visit here in LA, we're talking about Creations, True Food Kitchen, Gratitude Cafe, um, but those are my favorite spots. Anyone that knows me, if you don't know, I'm from the Caribbean, I'm an Afro-Latina, I'm Dominican, my comfort food would be Sancocho. And Sancocho, like get ready, get ready for that because it is probably going to be the heaviest soup you've ever had in your life. And it has a bunch of root vegetables, like yuca, platano, yautia, in a thick broth with a bunch of meats all in one soup and we usually have it with rice and avocado and it is such a heavy meal just get ready just to be a couch potato for like the next five six hours if i'm having like if, if i'm having a day a dominican day and mind you my accent just kicked up <laughs> i may have la bandera dominicana rice beans chicken and avocado with a nice salad and some fried plantains in there. And that's everything I eat in a day. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something new today.